Hello, I am Lakshman Maheshwari and today we will talk about the World Trade Organization or WTO. It was formed on 1st January 1995 and it is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland. Presently, it has 164 member states and 23 observers. The Director General of World Trade Organization is Roberto Esverado. WTO is an intergovernmental organization that regulates international trade. It officially commenced on 1st January 1995 under the Marrakesh Agreement, which was signed by 123 nations on 15th April 1994, replacing the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trades, GATT, which commenced in the year 1948. It is the largest international economic organization in the world. It deals with regulation of trade in goods, services and intellectual property between participating countries by providing a framework for negotiating trade agreements. It also provides a dispute resolution process aimed at enforcing participants' adherence to WTO agreements which are signed by representatives of member governments and ratified by their parliaments. Most of the issues that the WTO focuses on derive from previous trade negotiations, especially from the Uruguay Round of 1986-1994. to A trade facilitation agreement, part of the Bali package of decisions, was agreed by all members on 7 December 2013. Let us now have a look at the Marrakesh Agreement. It was manifested by the Marrakesh Declaration. It was an agreement signed in Marrakesh, Morocco by 124 nations on 15th April 1994. This was the culmination of the eight-year-long Uruguay Round. A number of agreements on issues including trade in services, sanitary and phytosanitary measures, trade-related aspect of intellectual property and technical barriers to trade were discussed. It also established a new, more efficient and legally binding means of dispute resolution. The various agreements which make up the Marrakesh Agreement are combined as an indivisible whole. No entity can be part to any one agreement without being party to all of them. The Bali package was a trade agreement resulting from the 9th Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization in Bali. Indonesia between 3rd to 7 December 2013. It aimed at lowering global trade barriers. It is the first agreement reached through the WTO that is approved by all its members and it forms a part of the Doha Development Round which started in the year 2001. It also includes provisions for lowering import tariffs and agricultural subsidies with the intention of making it easier for developing countries to trade with the developed world in global markets. However, it conflicts with subsidies doled out in India. A very important organ of WTO is the TRIPS Agreement. It stands for Trade Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights. It is an international legal agreement between all the member nations of the World Trade Organization. It sets down minimum standards for the regulation by national governments of many forms of intellectual property as applied to nationals of other WTO member nations. It was negotiated at the end of the Uruguay Round of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trades GATT, in 1994 and is now administered by the WTO. It introduced intellectual property law into the international trading system for the first time. It remains the most comprehensive international agreement on intellectual property to date. Now let us talk about the functions of WTO. It requires members to provide copyrights covering content producers including performers, producers of sound recordings and broadcasting organizations, geographical indications including appellation of origin, industrial designs, integrated circuit layout designs, patents, new plant varieties, trademarks, trade dress, 
and undisclosed or confidential information. It specifies enforcement procedures, remedies and dispute resolution procedures. Protection and enforcement of all intellectual property rights shall meet the objectives to contribute to the promotion of technological innovation and to the transfer and dissemination of technology to the mutual advantage of producer and users of technological knowledge and in a manner conducive to social and economic welfare and to a balance of rights and obligations. Now let us talk about the scope of interpretation. In 2001, developing countries concerned that developed countries were insisting on an overly narrow reading of trips initiated a round of talks that resulted in the Doha Declaration. The most visible conflict has been over AIDS drugs in Africa. The AIDS drugs in Africa are sold at a high price due to patent issues. The Doha Declaration is a WTO statement that clarifies the scope of TRIPS agreement. For example, that TRIPS can and should be interpreted in the light of the goal to promote access to medicine for all. The ministerial conferences are the topmost decision-making body of the WTO and they usually meet every two years. It brings together all members of the WTO, all of which are countries or customs unions. It can take decisions on all matters under any of the multilateral trade agreements. Some important past conferences were in Buno Areas 2017, Nairobi 2015, Bali 2013, Geneva 2011 and 2009, Hong Kong in 2005, Cancun in 2003, Doha 2001, Seattle 1999, Geneva 1998 and Singapore in 1996. Let us quickly summarize the most recent ministerial conference which took place in Argentina in 2017. This was the 11th WTO ministerial conference which took place from 10th to 13th December 2017 in Buenos Aires, Argentina. It was chaired by Minister Susan Malcora of Argentina and opened with the signing of a presidential declaration in support of the WTO. The issues of electronic commerce, investment facilitation and micro, small and medium sized enterprises MSME were addressed here. This video was on World Trade Organization and was brought to you by Lakshman Maheshwari. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share to keep receiving important updates. Have a good day.